Hi everybody, greetings from the apocalypse. Today I'm gonna to show you how to ball up your solder. I use solder balls for a lot of things when I'm working because they leave less of a scar than the little squares do. So I'm gonna show you how to do it so that they don't oxidize and you don't have any mess. So to ball up my solder, first I'm going to cut a little fringe like so, and put it right on my block. I'm just gonna spread them apart a little bit so that they don't roll together, uh, unless of course you cut them too small and you want them to kind of gather together to make little bigger balls, but there you go. I'm using a zero tip on my Smith torch, but you can do this just as easily with a butane torch if you don't have a regular torch at home. I'm gonna light it up. When you ball up your solder, it's just like when you're soldering. You wanna go hot and fast. I'm gonna put my flame directly over it. Whammo, slammo. Solder balls are born. Now you'll notice that they balled up and they really didn't oxidize very much. Just a very tiny bit. Nothing that's going to affect their usefulness later on. If you go very slowly, if you kind of you know, do this kind of a thing and you're taking the flame away and kind of fooling around with it instead of really getting down to business. You'll notice that they get very black and they'll kind of shrivel up and look maybe a little like beef jerky or something. Uh, nothing that you want to use. So if that happens, just discard them and make new ones. You want them to look, you know, like this, relatively clean. Um, a lot of people flux their little squares before they ball them up, but what I find is if I just go ahead and heat them really quickly and then I dip them in paste flux and use them however I'm gonna use them, um, they reflow beautifully, they don't leave scars, and I also then don't get my block as crusty. So I kinda don't bother doing that whole flexing them on the block thing anymore. So, enjoy.